Holy smokes, it ain't no jokes. BlackRock just dropped a bombshell on Bitcoin and the crypto market. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, moneymakers. We're going to talk about Bitcoin, the latest and the greatest Bitcoin analysis and Bitcoin news. All I ask from you is that if you enjoy Bitcoin content, you give me that beautiful smile for Bitcoin to send out the good, good vibes. Smishity smash that like button. Let's try to get 500 likes on this video. I know you can do it. It's for Bitcoin. If you want Bitcoin to go up, you got to smash the like button. That's just how price action works. Right? <laughs> um, let's get into it. So currently Bitcoin is sitting at 63,389 down minus 0.3% on the day. Truthfully, Bitcoin dominance actually is falling today. So if we go to the Bitcoin dominance graph, you can see that Bitcoin dominance was almost at 60%, but now it fell to 57, 38, where you have others like Ethereum that's popping almost 4% today. Bitcoin is either a little bit down or in the green here today. So it's been kind of choppy, but still um, it has tested the 63,800 range a few times, but you can see it went up and then came back down and went up and then came back down. Um, so it's been very, very choppy today, but in general, the whole crypto market as a whole, as a general market is up 0.8%. And that tells you when Bitcoin is down, but the general market is, is up, that means that Bitcoin is a little bit lacking today. Uh, it happens sometimes where Bitcoin is a little bit slower than the others. Um, we did see some big movements from uh, assets uh, like NIR and TIA uh, and um, others uh, that got a little bit. Uh, BitSensor also got some movement here. SUI got some movement. Um, so it was an interesting day here. Uh, and we'll see if Bitcoin can get past this uh, 65,000 level. You can see this is the next well, we have the, the resistance at 63,800, uh, but you saw yesterday it popped over and pulled back down under it. And then after that, we have the 65,600 range. Uh, will be interesting to see if we can get over that. Just looking at the stock market, the stock market is up a little bit today. Um, so sometimes I like to look if what's, what's the NASDAQ doing, you know, parallel to Bitcoin, but it's in the, in the green today. Um, so it will be interesting to see uh, where Bitcoin can go uh, from here. Historically, um, we are in a zone that could tell us that we're going to go on the parabolic run. Historically, it's been between 154 and 160 days. That's when, after having, that's when we usually see the breakout time. Uh, historically, also, uh, fourth quarters are very, very good, right? So you can see last year was 56%. The year before 2020, <laughs> Two, all the quarters were red, so I wouldn't read too much into that. Uh, it kind of started at the end of 2021, so also uh, for fourth quarter here was green, but still not great. 2020, which was a halving year, was 168. Uh, if you go to the previous halving year, it was 58, and the year after that, it was 215. So if we get around in that 50-ish area, you can see the average is 88, the median is 56. Um, that would, if Bitcoin would be able, let's say just from this point to go up 50%, that would bring us close to 100,000, right? 60,000, 10% is six, 20% is 18, uh, 30% is around, right? 50% would basically be 30,000. <laughs> and so if you add 30,000 uh, to 60,000, you get around 90,000, 100,000. So that's the area that we could potentially see here by the end of the, the year. And I think when that potentially happens, we could see the, you know, the crypto market finally hitting its stride and the interest uh, significantly going up around the crypto market. Uh, once we start getting near the zone of 100,000, just psychologically, I think that's the zone that is going to, you know, be very attractive to regular Janes and Joes uh, when they look at Bitcoin and like, wow, $100,000 for one Bitcoin. That's what they're going to be saying and that's what they're going to be feeling. And when that happens, I think that that's going to create, you know, the, the massive articles on the news and in the internet and, and you know, big mainstream people talking about uh, Bitcoin. And I, th I think that's potentially going to happen. Now, something that has happening with Bitcoin recently, 
Um, and before we get into that, I want to just remind you of our partner, Margex. If you're interested, uh, link is in the description down below. You can go long, you can go short on the market, whatever your heart desires. There's another seven days for the Caspa airdrop. And if you sign up using my link, you'll get $50 once you sign up, plus another $50 once you deposit your first $100. That goes to your commissions, plus another 20% uh, on your deposits if you use my link. And we have a competition going on, so you can uh, gain uh, money from that competition. But reminding that Leverage trading is risky. You can make a lot of money, but you can also lose a lot of money. So be very, very careful if you do decide to use leverage trading. Uh, link is in the description down below. Please, please, please trade responsibly. So what has happened recently, there was rumors that Coinbase was doing some funny business, was doing some shenanigans, right? And of course, the CEO of Coinbase came out and said, no, 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 we're not doing any shenanigans. We're not doing anything. Um, and everything's above board. We're doing everything. You know, sometimes if it's institutional, we do things a little bit different, right? BlackRock said, no, 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 no. We're not having any of this. We want everything to be clear. We want everything to be above board. And BlackRock filed an updated S1. And now they are requiring Coinbase to deposit Bitcoin directly on chain Within 12 hours of instruction, after concerns were raised, it was selling paper Bitcoin to the ETF. So basically, this is something that also happens in the stock market, where basically market makers will sell these IOUs or fake shares, uh, and then they have a certain amount of time, they're called FTDs, they have a certain amount of time to come and actually produce those shares. So basically, the rumor was that Coinbase was doing this. And BlackRock was like, no, 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 right? If we're going to do this, we want it to have a straight effect, really be spot Bitcoin ETFs, not have, you know, an effect a week later, but actually have an effect on the price of Bitcoin when things are going on. And this is big because if this hasn't been happening until now, it makes a lot of sense, right? <laughs> because we keep seeing inflows into BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF. We keep seeing inflows and yet the price is being suppressed. Now, I had theories that it could be BlackRock that was doing this because they didn't want yet the price to go up too much because if the price goes up too much, then maybe their clients would not want to buy it. If something seems expensive, then people have a tendency not to buy it, right? They're gonna say, oh, wait for it to go down. But if it actually is pumping, that's a totally different story and then you have FOMO. So it's kind of a, a thin line of, you know, between FOMO and expensive. Right. Uh, and so I thought that maybe BlackRock had a hand in that, but it seems that they don't want uh, Bitcoin manipulation. They want uh, Bitcoin to you know move the way it moves. And if there is, you know, some um, situation of FOMO uh, and they get more customers and more fees, they're going to be happy. Right. They want the price to reflect what their clients are buying. If their clients are buying and Bitcoin is not going up, and but they keep buying and buying and the price is not going up people are just going to sell and they're not going to get the fees on the etf right people are going to leave they're like well you know i tried i've been here for a few months and the price is you know not moving i'm going to sell and blackrock doesn't want this blackrock wants people to continue to hold their etf so they can get their percentages every single quarter or whatever however they take their fees uh, and so this is important for BlackRock. That's that's their bottom line. That's how they make money. So they're, you know, put, what's how you say it? Like they're putting a line in the sand here for Coinbase and saying no more of this shenanigans going on. We're not going to have this anymore. Um, and someone said, did BlackRock just announce the official start of Bitcoin bull run? Because if they're they're not doing these paper trades, right, or giving paper Bitcoin, then actually when people are, people are buying IBIT, it will affect the price of Bitcoin. And whereas until now, we don't know really, maybe it had no effect. And all the effect that was happening because of maybe in the beginning, right, we had the Bitcoin ETF. So it did go up almost 100% here from the low, right? I'm looking at IBIT, 87%. But since then, it's been, you know, choppy with with the with Bitcoin. Uh, and so the question is, you know, was this people buying here? But because there was no actual share, actual uh, Bitcoin being bought up, then it wasn't really affecting the price of Bitcoin. It was just paper Bitcoin and they weren't actually going out and purchasing the Bitcoin. Um, so this is very interesting. And we'll see this affect Bitcoin going forward. It's interesting because it could kind of coincide with 
October, right? With that, uh, you know, what we talked about before the fourth quarter and the 150, 160 breakout zone that Bitcoin usually does, you know, in that zone, it usually breaks out. And the option chain that's going to be added to IBIT. So it's accumulation of things that could, you know, affect Bitcoin and could affect the price of Bitcoin and then in change affect the price of the rest of the crypto market. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell if it's the chicken or the egg kind of type of scenario here, you know, it's because one, two, three, or is it accumulation of all kinds of things? But, you know, this is very, very important for Bitcoin and it's a big step forward for Bitcoin going forward. Uh, very, very exciting news here for Bitcoin. Let me know what do you think in the comment section down below? Will this affect the price? Will it not affect the price? And don't forget to smash the like button. Of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.